Hey Sagittarius, it's Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I am here for your. I'm trying to do too many things at one time. I'm here for your um, November, end of November weekly <laughs> tarot scope, and your December 2015 um, for the last month monthly tarot scope. I do apologize. I tried to get this out, this video out on yesterday, so we can start it. But it just didn't work out. I did have a, a small illness over the weekend. I was a little sick. And once I got a little spurt of energy, I pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. And I really should have started with y'all first. Um, so please forgive me. I don't mean anything by it. So I'm here giving you these readings now. Thank you for bearing with me. This first one is going to go from November 23rd to the 30th. Take a small break. Shuffle some cards bring it back up again um, for December 2015. First off, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for anybody and everybody who has been following me, like and share and subscribe to my videos. Follow me on Instagram. My number is my number. My name on Instagram is Jim, G-E-M, the butterfly underscore tarot on Instagram. I am now accepting appointments and doing personal readings. So feel free to check me out. I'm jimthebutterfly.wix.com forward score forward slash y'all getting sleepy. It's eleven o'clock. Um, forward slash tarot again. Jimthebutterfly.wix.com forward slash tarot. Um, you can go in on the site and email me. It goes directly to my email to schedule a, a visit. A visit. A, <coughs> I'm sleepy, y'all. Sorry. To schedule an appointment with me or and um, you can also go through PayPal to um, pay for services there um, you can also email me if you want to genderbutterfly at gmail.com if you want to schedule a reading but you still have to go through the site to um, pay we'll be shuffling on camera majority rule most people wanted it sorry and let's get this done because it's getting past my bedtime, y'all. I'm not a young whippersnapper no more. Can't say it. And this is going for November 23rd through the 30th. Happy birthday, y'all. Happy birthday, y'all. All right, Sagittarius. All right, four cards. Listen, let me say y'all some. Okay, so y'all are really heading in to your time, Sag the time of Sagittarius, when the sun is in Sagittarius. There's a lot of major. You have four cards, but you have three major arcana cards. All right, look, you starting off with the moon card. You're starting out with the death card, you're moving into the death card. Then you have the nine of swords, and then you have the star card. All right. So the first thing that I'm looking at here is, um, wow, I'm just taken aback. This is, I mean, in such a short amount of time, that's a lot of energy going on. Now, one thing I will say is before I begin is that I do feel like this energy, and I'm very interested to see um, what your November, I'm not November, your December energy is going to be. Because I, with all this energy coming in, I just don't feel like it's going to be contained in just one week. It's this energy, I feel like it's going to be moving you on into at least January. I'm just saying. Because it's so strong. When you're starting off with the moon card, whatever this is, for a lot, of, I see there's a couple of ways with all four of these cards. Um, if there are any Sagittarius out there that's dealing with some type of mental health issue, and if you haven't been, um, you haven't been. Uh, 
you need to get control of your feelings. You need to get control of your thoughts. Like, you may not have, um, if, it's like, if you, if you have, if you haven't revealed this to someone, and, you know, you don't know, they don't know you like that, you need to get, and this is very strange, but it's like, for those who take medicine, everybody treats their, their own illnesses or whatever, whatever, however you want to say it, they treat it in different ways, but I'm, this is for people who have mental illnesses that currently take medication, and I know this is very strange, but I have to let it out. If you're around people and they don't know this about you, and you haven't been taking your medicines, you need to take your medicines. You need to get. You need to go and talk to somebody. You need. There's somebody out there that really they are going through some mental turmoil here. Um, there's just something that they're not seeing, or they. It's not no. They're being. They're feeling delusional. Yeah, you're really in your head this last week, and you, you, you know, it's like you may, or it could be you may be feeling like you are going crazy. You know, I use that term very lightly, but you may feel like that. Some of y'all, and I'm going to be honest, some of y'all may be, you may be on the brink of having a nervous breakdown, or you may be feeling like or you may have just have had a nervous breakdown. The work that that's coming to me. So I don't know if that's meaning some to, to some people right now. But please, you know, you having some issues, talk to somebody. Get a handle because what I feel like is what you feel is going on, like your environment around you, what you think is going on is not really what's going on. It's almost like you're being delusional about something. And this is very strange. Like, I know this is not going to, this is a general reading, y'all. You know, this is a general reading. It's for, you know, your sun, moon, and your rising sign. And this, I don't really feel like this is going, what I'm saying now is really going to apply to a whole lot of people. If it does, and you know, feel free to comment. But I just do. It just, all of this stuff to me. These first three cards is is saying mental, 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 mental. Because the moon talks about your dreams, um, talks about, you know, your subconscious, it talks about your intuition, but it also talks about things being um delu people being delusional or illusions or deceptive. There, there there's something, there's a cloud here, is what I see, and that's what the death card is. You know, this death card, there's a shroud of, of, of just, uh, fogginess and, and things are not clear. And you can look at me how I'm even looking at my, like, how, I'm like, oh my God. That, that's how I'm looking at this reading. It's like, and it's driving, like, you may even be feeling like you're going crazy or you're going nuts or, you know, I don't know. That's what it is, and that's there. We, here you are. You're not sleeping well, and it may be because you're not sleeping well that you're not able to see what needs to be seen. You're not paying attention, but I feel like deep down you know like something's off with you. Something's really off with you, and um, with the death card coming in, I feel like the death card is actually a good thing in this reading because it's coming in to wipe some of that that um that cloudiness away because see here as death comes death comes and starts knocking people out killing them well not killing them but you know putting them down as he comes through but in the end there's more there's you know there's illumination there there's clarity so i feel like some things have to be shed you know sliced away here Because you're having this this nine of swords type thing, you're in your feelings. This this card is represented by anxiety. It's represented by depression. But I, I feel like when I first saw this, I'm thinking more bipolar and more schizophrenia. People who um 
who who are easily thrown off easily thrown off um if you have personality disorders borderline personality disorders things that that, that have not that you have chosen not to reveal to close loved ones or friends um it may it may just rear its, its head you know um Yeah, this is very weird. It's 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 kind of put me in a weird spot, honestly. But on the flip side, at the very end of it, whatever this thing is, and I kind of feel like with this nine of swords coming in, because you know, you start talking about the nine the nine of swords, the nine of swords. You realize a lot of it is all in your head. You know what I'm saying? It could be actually a, a actual mental health issue. Um. But then again, it could just be you putting yourself into that 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 headspace. But with the death card coming in, I feel like it's going to be wiping all that stuff out, and it's giving you an opportunity. Like it's wiping the slate clean, and it's giving you an opportunity to renew yourself, to restore yourself, to heal yourself, to really look at yourself. Because it's like here, um, where everything is so closed off with this moon card this this girl is very open she's very forthcoming like I'm gonna tell you if I was at a lake and I saw a naked woman just sitting there pouring water and chilling it's not gonna make me scared like looking at her doesn't make me she does she looks approachable okay and that's how I feel like it's gonna make you come off to be more approachable because I think at one point in time people didn't know how to take you they didn't know how to take you. And it, it, maybe it's a thing of that you realizing how you come off to other people. Now, I don't really think that y'all really give a damn to that point. But you're seeing how it has limited you. You know, how you're... I don't know. This is a very strange reading, y'all. Um, but yeah, I, I, I know it's very day. This is very around all around the place. But talk to somebody if you're really into your thoughts or things just know this I'm not gonna say that well yeah you can talk to somebody but this is what I'm gonna say um, if you're in your feelings about something and there's something that you feel like just isn't right or just isn't just like that you're is toiling at your gut just know this that the death card is coming in is going to get rid of all the stuff that that needs to go and it's going to be, it's going to illuminate your path where you're going to be transformed. You're going to be seeing the things that you've been, you hadn't seen. You're going to see it. And because you see it, and I think a lot of what you're going to see is that a lot of it was just in your head. It took me a little minute to get around to it, but that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Whatever's going on, it's, it's just in your head. And once you realize that, you know what, this really was just an illusion. Because this is all about being in your head. That death part is going to be able to move a little faster. And it's going to knock out what, what needs to be knocked out. And then you're going to end up with a star card going into December. Which is a good thing. You're going to be a little bit more peaceful. Like, she's just chilling. I would be chilling too, but naked outside in the lake pouring some water. Just... Just, I mean, she's just whistling and just happy. And that's a good thing. Like, a, a, the fog has been lifted. Even though she's in the nighttime. I feel like she's at night because you got the stars here. Even though she's at night, the fog has been lifted. It's a very clear night. And she can move forward. This card is represented by the number 17, which breaks down to 8. So, yeah. It, it's like you're getting a, a do-over. A renewal. You're feeling spiritually renewed. Once you realize that, you know, maybe my maybe my perception is uh, was a little off. Now, like I said, and I know I'm going into 15 minutes with this thing, but like I said, um, understand you have three major arcana cards here. So I don't expect all this to happen within this first week. But just understand that this is the energy that's going to kind of prompt you going into December. Okay? I hope that kind of helps, y'all. I know that's a little strange. Um... 
it's a little strange but that's that's the message that I got oh I do want to say for those who are in a relationship just know if there's if you've been thinking that somebody's been cheating on you or doing something shady with you just know that the death card is coming in and they're going to start knocking some people out of your life and if that person that you should have some second thoughts about getting knocked out let their ass stay out let their ass stay out don't don't try to you know you're going to have some upset about it but let them go because they were supposed to go you knew deep down inside that they wasn't they was telling some lies to you anyway from a relationship point of view all right all right moving on All right, I'm doing things a little different right now. We're doing um, one card for general energy, one card for love and re uh, relationships, the other card for um, health and spirituality, one card for um, career and finance, and an advice card. Yeah, okay. Alright. So, for your general energy, you have the two of wands. And um, the two of wands was in your weekly, too. I, I feel like I said you're not being phased by all the things that's going on. Even though you had in the weekly all this, this new transformative um, energy coming in, it's like... I feel that you're going to accept it and you're going to use it to help um, aid you in your planning for your future. Okay? Excuse me. In your love and um, relationship, you actually have the Six of Pentacles again. And that card popped out before, like I said. It, it's, it's going to be a... Um, you're trying to be more balanced. You, you're, you're striving for more balance in your relationships. A more equal give and take which is always a good thing. I feel like the best way to look at this situation, though, is to realize that sometimes, you know, things are not always going to be 50-50, okay? And the reason why I say that is look at the cards, look at the, you know, how these pinnacles are lined up. If it was truly, I mean, it is it is even. Don't get me wrong, because you have the scale here. You have the, you know, and the scale is balanced. But the way the, the, way the pinnacles are lined up, it's not balanced, you know? It's not even. But nonetheless, the situation is balanced. Okay, the overall situation is balanced, and I, I feel like you're gonna be seeing that um, this month. Now, if you're not in a relationship with anyone else, that's gonna be you. You know, you're feeling more balanced. You're 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 taking. It's like you're taking better care of yourself. If you haven't been taking the best care of yourself, you're doing more more things for yourself. You know, it's one thing to buy all the things that you know, to be able to buy the things that you need, but it it, it feels a little better when you can buy the things that you want to. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what it is. You're gonna be able to, to spread out a little to be get a little extra crumbs. You know, you can spend a little extra. That's what these little pins I you know, I look at Yeah, that's how I look at it. I'm I'm getting sleepy. Anyway, y'all know I do all these things at night. So anyway, um, for your health and spirituality, you have the Five of Cups. And what I feel like the Five of Cups is saying in this position is that, you know, you have suffered a loss. You've had to move on with some things um, in, in your emotional life, and it has started to affect your... Um, your spirit and I'm it's almost as if some other people can pick this up like I feel like you've actually kind of separated yourself from the crowd and you're spending a lot of alone time you feeling the need to be alone 
which is okay. You know, I, I really don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I just feel like you're just going through a grieving time. And part of this grieving time is, you know, we've been talking about the the weekly, you have the death card coming in. So I feel like it's more of you grieving a loss of a part of yourself or an old way of life more than actually grieving an actual person. Um, it, but it's a transformative time. It's a time of transition. And although you, um, you're grieving, although you're grieving, I feel like, and it's, I feel like with this five of cups here, you know, you always hear the tarot reader say it's like all is not lost. But I think you know that all is not lost. And it's kind of like you're standing, you're standing guard against this. It's like, you know what? I'm going to cry over this right here. Because I know it had to go. But you know what? I realized I got these two other things here. And it's almost like it's the two, these two wands here that you see. You know, I have other things that I'm going to do. So I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to cry over it real quick. And I'm going to get over it. And I realized that it had to go. You know, for me to move on, I couldn't I couldn't take all that stuff with me. I had to get rid of what no longer serves me. I only could keep two things, and these are the two things I caught I kept. These are the two things I kept. These are the things I had to give up and sacrifice. Which is, you know, you gotta do that when you get wrong. You got you gotta sometimes you gotta give up some things that you know are not good for you. You know? So it is what it is. Um, now, for your career and finance, you have the Page of Wands. Um, I feel like a lot of y'all going to have some opportunities coming in. And I feel like some of y'all, if I'm not mistaken, had either last week or last month had some opportunity. I think it was last week, had some business opportunities coming in, had some money coming in. I feel like you can be trying to figure out ways, new ways to make more money. Um, new ways to expand your current um, business or your current uh, career path. You're just going to be doing some very, very in the, in the early stages. If this is something that is not, you know, if what we talked about last week hadn't come into fruition, or if it had come into fruition, you're being presented with something new. If it, if it hasn't come into fruition, you, I think you're still kind of looking, still trying to figure out exactly what you want to do with it. But either way, you're still researching and you're still, um, Yeah, you're still researching it. You're still, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, examining the 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 um the returns. There you go. You're examining it for what it is. Cause see, look at him. He's looking at it like again with these wands. You see the the little leaves or whatever. He's looking at it like you know what? Can I can I get this thing? I'm almost looking at it as like it's not a. It's crazy. I'm not looking at this one like it's a one. It's almost like I'm looking at it as as it a if it's a tree. In a sense, like will this tree bear fruit? If I invest in this tree, what will I get? What will be the in, the returns of this tree that I that I plant? You know. So that's how you're going to be looking at some some career options right now. Now, as an advice card, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles as an advice card, as you're making these plans, as you're looking at this business idea, you know, these new business ventures or these new ways to make money, as you're looking at your um, your relationship and, and just kind of weighing it out, get make sure you got a, whole, a clear picture. You're going to be doing a lot of look, looking back over things, check, check, check and read. Checking, rechecking, <laughs> checking, rechecking things. Um, I heard psychic sounds, but it, it was so funny because I heard her say that psychic sounds by B. I need to follow her. She's she's good, but um, she used to say that a lot. Check, 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 and recheck, and that's what I'm looking at this card right here. Um, <laughs> the by with the 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 seven of pentacles, like you're just gonna be going and just weighing things out and trying to figure out again. What's going to work for you? What's not going to work for you? Like seeing how far you've come and still going back to say, okay, well, I've come this far. Let me go back and look and see and make sure am I on track? Because, again, you are doing a lot of planning here. 
and you know granted your planning is in the early stages but I feel like you're not trying to do a lot of there's no room for error here there, extreme error let me put it like that because you're going to have some errors as you learn along the way whatever this is because you are a page here especially if this is about a business um, opportunity but in um, yeah especially if this business opportunity but it's just you going back and doing some reassessment and I feel like you're going to be happy with what you see you're going to start to see the progress because it's you've been working you know and it's like yeah look at all this that I've built up look at all look at all these things that I've accomplished right now what I've been managed to do that I didn't think that I was going to be able to do but you're doing it so that's what I'm saying you know don't you can push forward but always take a time to pause to look at your progress because you don't want to get to the point where you work so hard and then you didn't do any evaluations of yourself and then six six months to a year down the line you you looking at it and you realizing you made some very um, costly mistakes whether whether it's in love whether it's in your career whether it's in your you know your health you gotta you know do some checkups every now and then to make sure that you're on track and so and then that way you can get a better assessment of where you are and where, how far it's going to be for you to get your goal so again uh, this card has been coming up for a lot of people for the end of the year and I feel like it's very typical for everyone to be going through that having that same type of energy just making sure that you got everything right looking back over the year and saying okay this is what I've been doing over the year. How is has it worked for me? Has it not worked for me? Do I need to keep doing that, or do I need to throw it away? And that's kind of like what I see with this card too, because he has this little pinnacle right here, and he's built up so much. And it's like to me, um, he's looking at it like, okay, do I want to put this with this pile, or do I want to get this, put this in the discard pile? So, which is a good thing. That's a good way to end. You you're gonna know what you need to keep and know what you need to get rid of. So. Good for you, Sagittarius. What a wonderful way to end the year. I want to say, y'all, thank you so much. Hit me up, um, Jim, G-E-M, the butterfly, at gmail.com for a personal reading, or feel free to check out my website. I'm going to bed, y'all. I'm tired. Y'all have a good night. Bye.